Hello everyone, and welcome to this new video tutorial for Maverick Render. In this tutorial we will go through all the improvements we've made to our Rhino to Maverick Bridge plugin. We will use a model from GrabCAD, for which we thank the author. The model is a Formula 1 helmet. All we need to do is download it from GrabCAD and open it up in Rhino. As you can see this model is not organized by layers with a material per layer. Everything belongs to the same layer, and Rhino materials have been used on the model parts directly. This workflow is ok in Maverick, although Rhino materials are generally approximations and only the main color ends up being meaningful. Our Rhino bridge will translate those Rhino materials to full-fledged physical materials that you can configure within Maverick. Let's send the model to Maverick from the Maverick toolbar in Rhino. After a few seconds Maverick will open up the Rhino document. As you can see the geometry and materials have been transported correctly. Let's now dress the scene with some materials using methods that benefit from the new features we have added to the bridge workflow. From the library we will drop a blue metal steel material on one part of the helmet. By holding the Alt key pressed the material will be applied to all the objects using the old material, effectively replacing the old material. Let's change the diffuse color to purple. We will use the eyedropper for this. We might keep on adjusting colors and other attributes. Let's now update the materials miniature swatch. Next we will select all the purple objects in the scene with the context menu option here. This will apply the material to all the selected objects. This will replace all the purple materials by a single material in one shot. We may now purge unused materials out of the scene. Let's edit some more materials. Let's drop glass from the transparent area in the library to the helmet visor. We can appreciate here the difference between holding the Alt key pressed or not to affect just the target object or all objects sharing the same material. Let's change the transmission of the glass so it is not as transparent. Let's drop a frosted glass material on these glossy parts. Again, holding Alt pressed will replace all the glass parts in one shot. Let's adjust transmission a bit again. We may keep on editing existing materials or applying new ones as we like. Let's now review some of the options in the Preferences dialog that affect the behavior of the Rhino bridge. Preserve Scene Materials gives priority to the materials we have applied in Maverick over the materials coming from the Rhino document. Let's see how editing the model doesn't affect the materials in Maverick. By disabling this option we will see how to material applied in Rhino is sent back to Maverick, deleting the one we created in Maverick. Usually we always want the default behavior, which is to preserve whatever we edit in Maverick. Disabling preserve scene cameras will allow you to work with the Rhino views if that is what you prefer. This option is disabled by default, so the Rhino views are handed over to Maverick. Note that this option only works on update scene. Not on update selection, since views are not part of the Rhino selection. Let's create a new named view in Rhino. Let's update the scene and see how the camera viewpoints have been sent to Maverick. We end up with a view camera, which is the current viewpoint in the Rhino viewport, and a named view camera corresponding to the named view we just created in Rhino. If we move around in Rhino and update again, the view camera will be updated as soon as we hit the home button. 
The named view camera will still keep the same viewpoint as the named view in Rhino. Another interesting option is Preserve Scene X Form. Let's make sure this option is enabled and edit the scene a bit. Let's create a new camera in Maverick. Let's add a black background ambience which will look flattering on our model. Let's now delete the floor and rotate the helmet a bit. Let's readjust the camera and save its position. Now our helmet is in a pose that we like in Maverick. If we make changes to the model in Rhino and update, we will see how the position in Maverick is preserved as expected. This option is very interesting if you want to pose your models in Maverick instead of in Rhino. Another new feature we added in our latest release is synchronization of deletions. So if a model is deleted in Rhino, it is also deleted in Maverick on update. We hope that these new functions will make the Rhino to Maverick workflow even smoother for you all. This is all for now. See you in the next video. Have fun rendering with Maverick.